Hello and welcome to the vlog. Thursday started off with a concert organized by the Christian Union, which is also being live streamed on YouTube. Clouds are far behind me. After doing the concert thing, we are now doing punting and we're just deciding which of us actually know how to punt because yeah, otherwise we'll just end up going around in circles. And I think we only have the boat for like one or two hours. So we kind of got to be a bit quick if we want to see stuff. So yeah, should be fun. Right, this is actually really relaxing, but I feel sorry for the people who are punting for the first time. Like, yeah, much, much more laborious. Yeah, and just push it. Push it very hard. If you push it from that side, it's gonna go that way. If you push from that side, it's gonna go the other way. Hello. Hi. At least Vianca's got it really straight. Oh, look, look at Kings! <laughs> Traffic jam in the cab. <laughs> Another Riverside report. Um, we are having a Norex in time. Hillary is doing, actually doing a good job now. She's figured this out. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Hillary, tell us what was going through your mind when that happened. It was just like, um, now or never, you know? <laughs> now or never? <laughs> Wait, you just gotta kick it and then catch it. <laughs> Bridge of size! You just, Woo! you just gotta jump into Woo! You just gotta jump in to give company. Yeah, Hillary's getting all the fame here. Just like, oh, I can, just again, I can finally tell. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get first. That was a very unexpected. Yeah, you, you get first. Do from, it for from, the bus. From, from feeling to a I'm not getting it. <laughs> now we've lost our punt. It's like the world is against us today. I mean, we're having a fun time. I was the only time. one who sacrificed myself. <laughs> Hillary sacrificed herself to save the punt, whereas we were a bit lazy and decided to let the punt go. But Losers. What are you doing? Turning. Why are you turning in the bridge? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you using the bridge to like... Yeah, it, wouldn't the bridge just get in the way? <laughs> You're in the way now. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, Tarush. Hey. This is not a very flattering angle, I'm very sorry. <laughs> the gymnastics came in, hello! You're like a jelly baby. Yeah. No, you Rohan, give us a tour of Cambridge, go on. Yeah. <laughs> well, on the, the left this hand is side, you can see some cows. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I choose the left hand side. <laughs> 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 Rohan decided to talk about this yeah. when he could have talked about this. Hey, Kings! Oh, famous choir. Hey guys, what is up? It is Friday. We are getting ready to play some cricket um, before we head over to the church departure event, um, which will be really fun. So I'm just waiting on the main road for some boys to come over and then yeah we can head over, head over to the net oh no <laughs> i love that oh no <laughs> like it's so slow there's time for me to go oh no and then it's still in the air yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice got some classical cricket going on here oh no <laughs> Oh. The net made it okay. <laughs> oh, no way. You should edit together a compilation of. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> It'll be a bloopers. Oh no. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. 
Threatening the future kids there. <laughs> Today is Tuesday and I'm actually back home. Um, we've been home for a couple of days now. We drove back on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I thought we'd just wrap up the departure weekend because yeah, it was really busy. On Friday after Cricket Nets, we went to church. The theme of departure was about the cross and kind of looking more deep into what Jesus' death on the cross actually achieves and why it's such good news. So the first day we focused a lot on what it achieves. So we talked about how, of course, through Jesus' death, we get mercy and forgiveness of sins, but we are also made righteous. And basically God views us in a way as though we have never sinned before. I really enjoyed um, this weekend in that the cross is such a fundamental thing to the Christian faith, but going into much more detail, you only just uncover more and more how great the sacrifice and how great his love is for us. I've got a little booklet here, which they gave us. Um, and yeah, it was about Romans 3 in particular. Basically, Jesus' death, it protects us from God's wrath because Jesus takes it on himself. And as Paul explains in like Romans 1 and 2, God's wrath is there against sin because, well, he's a just God and he can't tolerate sin in his creation. And so this is why we need Jesus. And then, and then it was a really nice sunny day. So we just spent like the remaining time outside. They just kept bringing us more and more pizza. And like, this was definitely a theme of the weekend in that they just gave us so much food and like, We'd eat some, like some cakes, and then we'd go play some sports to burn it off. It, it was actually quite funny, like doing like 18, 20,000 steps a day. But yeah, really fun, really fun. We were playing, I learned how to play a game called Spike Ball, which is, yeah, I'm not gonna explain how it works now. I mean, it's, it's fairly simple, but like, um, really got into that with some of the friends. Walking in. Oh, he's, he's oh, a good balling. I gotta respect this. <laughs> I'm surprised by how well this bottle is working though. I mean, it's gonna break. <laughs> to be fair, it does get flattered every year. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we are shaking it into an extra bat. Now, I need to bowl like that, you know? No, just bowl off. Bowling legs never. Oh, it's oh, not! Oh, I gloved it! I gloved it! <laughs> right, I'll show finish this. Yeah, we, we were there right until like 10 p.m. Um, even though like everything finished by about six. Um, yeah, really fun day. That was Friday. Then Saturday, I called it Super Saturday. We were there from like 10 a.m. until like 9 p.m. So day two also focused on the cross. And this time we focused on a passage in Colossians, which basically outlines why Jesus' death grants victory over Satan. One useful thing was by taking away our debts because of our sins, we take away Satan's ammunition because Satan's, one of his main way to get us to sin is to accuse us and show us a record of our past sins and say, look, you're not worthy for Christ. You might as well just continue sinning and be dead in sin. Because we kind of hung outside in the field for most of the day, we could actually sing in person, which was really fun because we hadn't done that properly. And like, there must have been at least 50, 60 of us. So we made a good sound. And yeah, the band, kudos to them because they were able to bring all their equipment outside and even manage when all the sheets of music were blowing away. So that was kind of fun. In general, it was like such a good day because, well, for this like almost like one, one and a half years, we've just been seeing each other on Zoom. And it's been really hard to actually cultivate the friendships because we just haven't been there to have like longer conversations out of like uh, a stressful environment which we're usually in when we're uh, in university term and then oh i forgot to mention the seminars of which we had so on friday the first day we had a seminar on 
gender dysphoria and what the Bible's take on it is. And this is obviously a huge topic. It was honestly a little bit complicated, but it's definitely something that I want to be researching more into the future. I made some notes here, so I will go over that in more detail because this is definitely something which my non-Christian friends is one of the first things they ask, like what's Christian's view on like issues of gender and things. So that was good and very well explained by our pastor. On the, on the Saturday, we also had a seminar on prayer, which is actually done by one of my good friends, Josh. Yes, that was a really, really good seminar. So many like different references from the Bible. I think one of the main points I got from it is just how prayer shouldn't just be like a tool thing or like a, a ritual that you do just to please God, but it's actually just more of the overall lifestyle and kind of having a walk with him. I mean, Christians often use this phrase of like a walk with God, being able to cast all our cares on him and just realize how much Jesus actually loves us, which kind of fits in with what we're also discussing about the cross. Again, that was a, such a packed seminar and like, wow, they really did give us good like value for the time we spent there, like how much we actually learned. Yeah, we definitely talked about some things I want to be implementing in my own prayer life. And on the final day, it was kind of cut short a bit because we had to drive back and it's not a short distance, so. But we had like Zoom church in the morning because the church has limited capacity for people to sit in. And then in the afternoon, we actually went to, we went on a picnic to Grantchester, which is a village just south of Cambridge. And yeah, some people even started jumping in the water um, in, into the river cam. And I was really, really tempted to join in, even though that I forgot my swimming stuff, that would have been fun. But unfortunately, yeah, I had to come back a bit quickly. Yeah, all in all, such a good weekend. And it really taught me to value the church community and how much love there is for each other. And even though like for some of the people, it was literally maybe the first time I met them. I think because Christians, we believe that we're all made in the image of God and we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. That's such a big unifying thing, which honestly makes just kind of spending time with each other so organic and natural. So it's definitely got me reflecting that next year, I want to be prioritizing that more because I felt like work definitely took the front seat this year. That's pretty much what happened over departure weekend. And then more recently, I haven't, I mean, the last two days, I've just been kind of catching up on sleep because Sometimes there wasn't much sleep when there's that much socializing going on in Cambridge. Yeah, that's it for this inaugural vlog. Hopefully I can improve, well, maybe probably get a bit more confident actually whipping out my phone in public and with like other friends and not being embarrassed to take more footage. But yeah, hopefully first of many vlogs.